They are delighted. I think everybody's delighted. I've never seen a transfer more mutually joyful for everyone involved. Newcastle have just come and spent £15 million of real money and brought Matt Target to their club. Now, there's so many different ways you can look at this. Like, I think he did all right at Newcastle. He was all right when Villa tightened up. He was a disaster of the season for Villa. Like, last year started off like a car crash and then he ended up being quite good from November onwards. Uh, this season, it was just you know one disaster after the other. That's why they spent big for a left back in the, in the January transfer window. But <sighs> Newcastle are now in their first summer with their new ownership. Expected to spend big. You know the words are oyster. They broke the record of January spending already, and this is what they went for first. You know they spend a, a lot of money on a left back, and it's my target. They're going to at least have expectations of being attacking and being ambitious my target in an attacking open team is not a good sight these boys have not experienced that yet and and we're seeing a lot of newcastle fans really badly attempting to troll aston villa fans by saying they've taken their best left back <laughs> you know, thanks thanks for that everyone else everyone's saying thanks to each other and villa are basically saying thanks for covering the cost of Coutinho and Kamara combined. Like, you know, <laughs> thanks for letting us upgrade to look at Dina. Like, one, one of the best left backs we could have. And we've upgraded to him from Matt Target for 10 million, essentially. Uh, yeah, so Matt Target won't be, in the, won't be in the Newcastle team next season. Um, they just it won't happen. He'll be immediately upgraded on as well. Because we'll always have those five months when he wasn't shit to look back on and thanks for that Matt Target is an incredibly limited footballer and the most remarkable thing about his Aston Villa career is that he was quite good for 20 or 25 games in the middle of it but yeah. he spent he spent the last four months of his Aston Villa career looking like he was auditioning for Honey I Shrunk the Kids with the amount of time he spent face down crawling through the grass <laughs> 